In the heart of the jungle, where the trees wore a riot of autumnal colors and the air was thick with anticipation, the animals were abuzz with preparations for the grandest event of the year, Halloween. Lanterns carved from jungle gourds glowed with soft light and spider webs sparkled with dew, turning the forest into a magical wonderland. Amidst this bustling scene was Trevor the Toucan, known for his vivid plumage and even more colorful fabrications. He was the master storyteller of the jungle, weaving tales that were a blend of the fantastical and the absurd. His latest yarns involved spectral monkeys that vanished into thin air and talking trees that whispered secrets at midnight. But on this particular Halloween Eve, as the jungle was adorned with eerie decorations and animals donned their creative costumes, Trevor's eyes caught a sight that chilled his heart. In the fading light, he spotted a group of poachers, their faces hidden behind frightening masks, slipping silently into the edge of the forest. Unlike his imaginative tales, this threat was real and immediate. Trevor knew he had to warn everyone. He swooped down to the main clearing, where the Halloween festivities were in full swing. The air was alive with laughter and the scents of festive treats. Trevor squawked, his voice laced with genuine fear. Listen! Listen! Poachers are near! We must hide! The animals, however, merely exchanged amused glances. Trevor's at it again with his spooky stories! Chortled Benny the Bear, his belly shaking with laughter under his makeshift ghost costume. It's just a Halloween trick! Agreed Lila the lemur, her eyes twinkling under her witch's hat. But Trevor, frantic with desperation, continued, No, this is real! We're in danger! Their disbelief stung Trevor, but he knew he couldn't waste time convincing them. Taking matters into his own wings, he decided to lead the poachers away. He darted through the trees, his colorful feathers glinting in the moonlight, creating a spectacle to draw their attention. Meanwhile, at the party, an uneasy silence began to settle. The animals, now aware of Trevor's absence and the strange quietness that followed, felt a growing unease. Curiosity turned to concern, and a group led by Benny and Lila ventured out to investigate. To their horror, they found unmistakable signs of human intrusion, boot prints, and discarded rope traps. The truth of Trevor's warning hit them like a thunderclap. Filled with guilt and fear for their friend, they quickly devised a plan. Using their Halloween props, they created ghostly illusions with the gourds' lights and eerie noises with the hollow bamboo chimes. The forest transformed into a spectral realm with shadows dancing and mysterious sounds echoing. The poachers, unnerved by the unexpected and spooky occurrences, beat a hasty retreat, convinced that the jungle was haunted. Trevor, witnessing this from his hiding spot, felt a surge of relief and pride for his friends. Upon his return, the atmosphere of the jungle shifted from celebration to admiration and apology. The animals gathered around Trevor, showering him with apologies and praise for his courage. We're so sorry. Trevor, with a solemn but warm smile, addressed his friends. Today, I learned the value of truth. From now on, my tales will be of our real adventures, not made up fancies. The Halloween of that year was remembered, not just for its fun and frolic, but as the night when the jungle came together, embracing honesty and bravery. Trevor the Toucan was no longer just a storyteller, but a respected and trusted member of the community, his true adventures becoming the most requested tales. Morale of the story. Honesty is the foundation of trust and respect. In times of danger or uncertainty, it's the truth that unites and strengthens communities.